SharkBite offers a full range of valves for controlling water flow. Our line of valves include ball valves, pressure regulating valves, thermostatic mixing valves, temperature and pressure relief valves, check valves, outlet boxes, and stop valves. SharkBite valves feature push to connect ends to make them quick and easy to install. To make your connection, cut the pipe as cleanly and squarely as possible. Ensure the pipe is free of scratches and debris. If you are handling copper pipe, remove any sharp edges or burrs. Next, use your SharkBite depth and deburr tool to measure and mark the insertion depth on your pipe. You can find the insertion depth chart on SharkBite.com. Push the pipe into the fitting on the valve up to the insertion mark. Now turn on your water and check the connection. There are many types of Apollo brand tools available to make plumbing jobs easier. Several types of tools are available to use with PEX tubing. Apollo offers a PEX multi-head crimp tool kit for use with PEX crimp rings. This includes 3 8 half, 3 quarters, and 1 inch crimp jaws, a go-no-go -no -go gauge, and an adjustment wrench. Before using the multi-head crimp tool, make sure the correct size jaws are in place on the tool. To change the jaws, raise the spring on the side of the jaw head. While the spring is raised, remove the jaw by pulling it out. Place the jaw you wish to use in the jaw head while the spring is still raised. Finally, lower the spring. Repeat these steps to replace the other side of the jaw head. Make sure the tubing end is cut squarely and is burr free. Slide a crimp ring over the end of the tubing, then insert the barb fitting until it stops. Position the crimp ring 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from the end of the tubing and over the ribs of the fitting. Place the crimping end of the tool around the crimp ring and press the handles together. This compresses the crimp ring evenly over the pipe and onto the fitting, resulting in a leak-free quality joint. After compression, the crimp ring security should be checked with the go no-go gauge. Place the gauge around the compressed crimp ring. If the ring can't go into the gauge, or goes into the gauge fully and loosely, the compression is not correct. If the ring goes into the gauge securely, touching the edges and stops before the no-go line on the gauge, the compression is correct. If the compression wasn't correct, the crimping force on the tool can be loosened or tightened using the crescent wrench included in the kit. If there are screws on the side of the tool, loosen the set screw closest to the handles, then loosen or tighten the adjustment screw closest to the crimp end. Tightening provides more force and loosening lessens the force. Tighten the set screw after any adjustments. If the screws are on the front of the tool, first, open the handles. Loosen the nut on the back of the screw that has numbers around it. Push and rotate the screw. Increase the number for more crimp force and decrease the number for less force. Push the screw back in place and tighten the nut on the back of the screw. Offered separately is the Apollo PEX 1 half and 3 quarter inch combo crimp tool. Apollo's PEX half inch crimp tool, the Apollo 3 quarter inch crimp tool, Apollo's PEX 1 inch crimp tool, and the Apollo Go no go gauge. For use with the Apollo pinch clamps, there is the PEX quick pinch clamp tool. It fits 3 8 to 1 inch pinch clamps with ratcheting action and full pinch auto release. To use, Make sure the pipe is cut squarely and burr free. Slip a pinch clamp over the end of the pipe and insert the fitting. Move the pinch clamp 1 8 inch below the edge of the pipe. Place the pinch clamp nub between the tool jaws and ratchet the clamp by pressing the handles together over and over until the tool automatically releases from the clamp. This ensures the clamp provides a secure seal. Insert the calibration bar between the jaws while they are open. Ratchet the tool to the closed position and hold. Use the calibration tool to gauge the jaw gap. Ideally, the jaw gap should be between 0.8 and 1.2 millimeters. If the 1.2 millimeter side of the gauge slides into the gap, then the jaw space is too large. If the 0.8 millimeter side of the gauge cannot slide into the gap, the jaw space is too narrow. To adjust the jaw gap, turn the quick pinch clamp tool on its side and locate the locking screw positioned on the handle. 
Use a standard screwdriver to loosen the locking screw. Turn the adjustment screw right or left as needed to change the jaw gap. When the desired gap is achieved, tighten the locking screw. Also available is the PEX one hand pinch tool. This also fits 3 8 to 1 inch pinch clamps and has one hand ratcheting action with an LED light to confirm pinch. To use, make sure the pipe is cut squarely and burr free. Slip a pinch clamp over the end of the pipe and insert the fitting. Move the pinch clamp 1 8 inch below the edge of the pipe. Position the open jaws of the pinch tool over the tabs of the pinch clamp and squeeze the handles. Allow the tool to ratchet to the next position. Repeat until ratchet stops, approximately seven times. When the LED light comes on, the pinch process is complete. To release the pinch tool from the clamp, rotate the release lever on the side. The PEX ring removal tool works on half to one inch crimp rings. It cuts the ring in seconds, causing no damage to the fitting, making it reusable. To remove a crimp ring, set the dial on the tool to the desired ring size, which is to be cut. When set on the minus sign, the tool can cut half inch size rings. When set on the plus sign, the tool can cut three quarter and one inch rings. Next, cut the pipe close to the fitting. Insert the removal tool, small jaw, inside the fitting and compress the handle, forcing the cutter through the crimp ring. Reposition the cutter to the other side of the crimp ring and compress the handle, forcing the crimp ring to open. Remove crimp ring from the pipe. Reinsert the removal tool into the fitting and close the handles, forcing the cutting jaw into the pipe. Repeat in several positions if necessary to free the pipe from the fitting. To remove pinch clamp, place the clamp nub between the tool jaws with the blade at the top and compress the handles. Repeat until the clamp releases from the tubing. Insert the removal tool into the fitting and close the handles, forcing the cutting jaw into the pipe. Repeat in several positions to free the pipe from the fitting.